Welcome back to Motor Drive. Today we are taking a trip to Japan, showcasing our greatest JDM cars of all time. JDM stands for Japanese Domestic Market. This term represents cars manufactured with the intent of solely being sold within Japan. Let's jump on into the video. Number 5. The Subaru Impreza WRX. Manufactured in 1992 and developed to challenge the Mitsubishi Lancer evolution. Unlike its competitors, the Impreza appealed to a large audience due to the many options Subaru offered to customers, from transmission to body, exceeding the sales volume of its rivals by far. The WRX won the World Rally Championship three years in a row between 1995 and 1997, however it's better known for its speed and being one of the most entertaining cars to drive regardless of price. The Impreza is lightweight and combines effortless power, slick handling and incredible balance. This is just a few of the reasons it became a legend of the streets during the 90s. Number 4. The Honda NSX. Released in 1990 and sold under Honda's luxury brand, Acura. The NSX was co-designed by three-time Formula One world champion, Ayrton Senna. Resulting in a stunning vehicle with agile handling and wonderful balance. This was Honda's first supercar and was limited to 276 brake horsepower. This was due to a gentleman's agreement within Japanese car manufacturers to limit power outputs of road cars in 1989. The NSX was widely regarded as a sports car that anyone can drive with a soft suspension, aiding the lightweight vehicle on uneven road surfaces, this was combined with a beautiful exterior. A perfect recipe for the ideal sports car putting it up there with the all-time greats. Number 3. The Mazda RX-7. The third generation was introduced in 1991 and was the world's first ever mass-produced sequential twin turbocharger system to be exported from Japan. With the second turbo kicking in at around 4,500 rpm, it caused drivers to adjust their driving style to handle the additional boost. The third gen saw its power boosted up to 252 brake horsepower and eventually 280 by the end of production in 2002. Featuring often in the Fast and Furious movie series, it became a well-known silhouette across the globe. The RX-7 won multiple awards for Car of the Year for companies such as Motor Trend and Playboy, fighting off strong competitors such as the new Dodge Viper in 1993. It was once touted as the purest, most exhilarating sports car in the world by road and track. These are just some of the reasons we think it deserves to be up there with the best. Number 2. The Toyota Supra. One of the most recognizable silhouettes, the fourth gen, was manufactured in 1993 and is a true icon. It seemed as if the engine was designed for car tuners from the outset, as the right modifications for the car could enable it to become a whole new beast. As standard the Japanese model had 276 brake horsepower, with a tested top speed of 160 miles per hour, although they were limited to just 112 miles per hour in Japan. The Supra is actually the heaviest car on our list to many people's disbelief, despite it being 200 pounds lighter than the previous model. Like previously mentioned, the Supra was also featured in the Fast and Furious being used in many key parts of the film, including being completely restored after being recovered from a junkyard. For us, the Supra always comes to mind when Japanese cars are mentioned, and with them increasingly becoming a rarity on the roads, we had to include this as our second most iconic Japanese export to date. Number 1. The Nissan Skyline GTR. We really could have used any model of the Skyline, but we have decided the 5th gen or R34 is our first pick. Released in 1999 it is slightly younger than the other vehicles in our list. When it comes to the best of JDM, nothing comes close to the GTR, it's a cultural icon and a true symbol of Japanese performance. I don't think any other vehicle sparks the same level of excitement among enthusiasts, winning 29 races in a row in the Japanese Touring Car Championships, this is where the nickname Godzilla was born. Even today the car does not look dated and is said to have looked years ahead of its time upon release with the tech to match. Due to the 25-year import rule, many will never have seen a R34 on the roads, and enthusiasts across the globe are monitoring the value of the vehicle, as it's just four years until it can be imported. The GTR has everything you would ever want in a JDM car from its iconic exterior to its 2.6-liter twin-turbo, supreme handling and traction, due to the car's four-wheel steering. We feel it would be a crime to place this anywhere on this list other than the top spot, 